Dang it, they're doing it again. Well, hey there, it's Christopher Westfall with Medicare News again. And today in the news, the Federal Trade Commission is once again warning us to let our seniors know there's another scam targeting seniors, this time talking about back braces. They're going to call you on the phone and say, hey, we're with Medicare and you qualify for a free or no cost back brace and Medicare is going to pay for everything. Let's take a quick look at this thing. So scammers have been targeting Medicare recipients with a scheme to get free or low cost back and knee braces. This has been really going on for a long time. I know of a campaign from uh, the Filipino call centers where they've been calling seniors all the time for years. I don't know why this one's new, but years calling them trying to get durable medical equipment claims things signed. You see, there are literally doctors out there that until they're stopped by federal agents, just rubber stamp these things all day long. They they have a billing number with Medi Medicare and they can just rubber stamp these claims. As, as a matter of fact, I did a story about this months ago that was then picked up by a news affiliate. To do unless they can verify who they're talking to. The second problem, Christopher Westfall is a Medicare specialist in North Charleston. Through his agency, the Senior Savings Network, Westfall has videos online. Hi, it's Chris Westfall. I'm a licensed insurance broker. To help seniors across the country with Medicare insurance needs. We have clients in 46 states, and if there's kind of a senior scam, we're going to get a phone call about it. And they Medicare. came in and interviewed me about it. This was a cancer screening scam, and they just wanted the Medicare billing information. And that turned into a major, major scandal. But this one is another version of the old one. People are calling them saying that they're from Medicare and they offer a free low cost brace. They say at the Federal Trade Commission, just hang up. They're not going to be from Medicare. Medicare is not going to call you and ask you for your number. Medicare is not going to call you and ask for billing information to send you a new Medicare card because the cards are all out there. They're already distributed. So what do you do if you're curious? You know, there's another story that just came out in the news today. Let me pull it up here. This one's from TylerPaper.com. And it says, Medicare open enrollment scammers are in full swing. And this uh, article by Ms. Mills here talks about open enrollment for Medicare Part D and Medicare Advantage are in full swing. That means the scammers are as well. So expect calls from them. As we scroll down, it says, what are some things you can do? You can shop around, shop and compare at Medicare.gov. What she doesn't know because she's not an insurance agent is you can't shop and compare Medicare supplement Medigap plans on Medicare.gov. So you really need a trusted advisor. Then it says guard your Medicare number. Don't give it to anyone. Okay, that's almost true. Verify licensing. And then it says this. You receive a cold call. No health care is allowed to cold call. That's not true. Insurance agents can and very often do cold call people to talk about Medicare benefits and what's available to them. It's a Saturday. The phone should not be ringing. I'm just kidding. We have people working today. So if someone calls you on the phone, yeah, it may be a legitimate health insurance agent. But what can you do to find out if they are in fact legitimate? Don't ever trust the caller ID that shows on your phone. Caller ID can be spoofed, and that means that I can make it look like I was uh, the president calling from the White House in Washington, D.C. with a 202 area code, and that does not mean that that's the president calling on the phone or that it's Medicare calling or that it's the Social Security office. I've seen people try this scam over and over again by spoofing and faking their caller ID. Seniors need to know about that because they, they went so quickly to the caller ID so they can screen calls, but they're relying upon it far too greatly to think that just because the caller ID is consistent with the pitch that's being given, that this is really in fact the only, the real person. How do you know? You get a callback number and then you verify that that callback number is consistent with the person's license number. And again, no one from the federal government will be calling you asking for your benefit information. If it's an insurance agent, sorry, if it is in fact an insurance agent, you should be able to validate that information. You can either, even call, if it's a website that's as wonky as Texas is right now, call your state department of insurance, find the phone number right from Google, I'll put a link to the description below of how you can find your State Department of Insurance without having to search. So look in the description of this video. Call the Department of Insurance and say this insurance agent who says his license number is X, and you can get that from the person on the phone, and ask what contact information do you, the Department of Insurance, have for this person? Because if someone calls you up and says, you know what, I've got a Medicare plan for you, it's going to cost you nothing per month, you qualify for it, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe true. 
doubtful, but it could be true. And if it is true, there's a way that you can verify it. But first, always identify who it is that you're dealing with first. I used to do um, uh, used to do speeches for the community when I worked at the sheriff's office, and we would talk about fraud and scams all the time. And it seems like the seniors were targeted at a greatly disproportionate number than anybody else in the community, because I think that they know that that's where the wealth is in the senior community. They know that's where uh, people have uh, a big heart. You know, one of the scams was people would call from a uh, an, an anonymous number saying that it's a collect call. Will you take the charges? And then they would run up the phone bill. It's crazy. But anyway, you need to be very aware of scams that are out there. But really, if you're telling seniors that no health care is allowed to cold call, that's not true. But they also go on here to say that callers use high pressure tactics of early bird discounts or during open enrollment for lower monthly premiums. Remember, you have until December 7th to make your decision. Again, this is a very tunnel vision, myopic point of view, only looking at Medicare Advantage because there is no deadline for a Medicare supplement. It's not December 7th, it's not January 1st, it's any time of the year you can shop, change, or move your Medicare supplement plan. You can drop it, you can start it any time of the year. Of course, your, of course, your health is in question as to whether it will justify that, but certain states have rules on that too. Consult a trusted advisor if you wish to change your Medicare supplement plan. But as I've talked about before, there should be no fear of missing out and that's the high pressure tactics that Michelle here is talking about. The fear of missing out that you have to do something by a certain deadline. <clears throat> now what is true for Medicare Advantage plans and for Part D drug plans, I don't know why anyone would want a cold call for those because we lose money when we write them, but for Medicare Advantage plans and Part D drug plans because they're all in the same family, it is illegal for an agent to cold call you based on a Medicare Advantage plan. That is absolutely true. That's also one of the reasons why before an agent can conduct business with you for a Medicare Advantage or a Part D drug plan, you must first sign a permission slip known as the scope of appointment that encompasses everything that you expect from that meeting. But it is illegal for an agent to call you on the phone and say, let's get together and talk about your Medicare and they get there and they're talking about Medicare Advantage. Those agents need to be reported because it is highly illegal to go to someone's house, sign them up on a Medicare Advantage plan when that initial call and all of their business has resulted only from one thing and that's cold calling the senior. They can't knock on your door, they can't canvas you, they can't hand out flyers unsolicited. Again, all for Medicare Advantage business. Medicare supplements, different world. Medicare supplements, almost anything is legal as long as you're not defrauding someone, doing something illegal in the process, making false claims, you know, disparaging other companies and doing things that are eth ethically wrong and against the license. But the restriction on cold calling and cold call approaches is specific to Medicare Advantage. And there are some people out there on the internet and the agent training community telling agents that it's okay to use telemarketing for the marketing purposes of a Medicare Advantage plan. And I'll just encourage you, the senior, that if someone has done that to you, and they said, I'm going to come by your house, and they're calling you cold on the phone with no relationship with you whatsoever, and they're encouraging you to meet with them, and then they go right into a Medicare Advantage pitch and saying, oh, now that I'm here, here, just sign this form as if I you know, did it beforehand. That's illegal. That agent does not deserve to be in our business helping seniors, because if you can't even follow the rules, and like the scripture says, to be trusted in the big things, first you have to be trusted in the small things. And if an agent can't follow the ethical guidelines that are set as a standard from CMS on the marketing of Medicare Advantage plans, and in my humble opinion, they don't deserve to be selling those plans and you need to report those people. But as far as this goes, the scams are always going to be out there. Please double verify, as they say, measure twice, cut once. Don't give out your information until you can verify who it is you're giving the information to. And if you have any questions at all, call your state department of insurance, call Medicare back, but no one from Medicare will be calling you to verify that information anyway. Medicare would write you a letter in the mail. And if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So watch out for the scams that are out there. Please subscribe to this channel. Consider forwarding this to your friends if they're on Medicare to make sure that they know that the Federal Trade Commission wants to spread the word that this new back brace scam is prevalent in the market right now. And people are using the open enrollment for the fear of missing out and pressuring people into doing something. The dates are these. October 15th through December 7th, you can make a choice for a Medicare Advantage 
or Part D drug plan that will take effect in January of next year. Has nothing at all to do with Medicare supplements. So if you already have a supplement plan, there's nothing, nothing at all that you need to do. You can shop the rates for your Medicare plan. And the reason why our phones blow up this time every year is while the majority of our customers are on Medicare supplements, they think that because of the pervasive nature of the news cycle covering Medicare every second, that this is the time to do that too. But that's not true on Medicare supplement. You can shop that anytime. You can move that anytime. The only thing you need to do is make sure you looked at your Part D drug plan changes for the next year. We've had a lot of movement in that. And we only shop Part D drug plans for our existing Medicare clients. We don't do it for the public at large. But people are calling us all day asking us to do that for them. For existing clients, we're happy to do that. And for the others that are not existing client, why aren't you an existing client? You can call us and have us shop your Medicare plan. If you're on a Medicare supplement, save money, possibly get a better carrier, and maybe even get a better agent. I'm Chris Westfall. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend if you're watching this on the weekend like I am making it on the weekend. And we're going to make it through this Medicare season just fine. But I'm going to make sure that you're up to date with things that are happening in Medicare. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and give it a like below if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.